Hey guys, in this video we will use content scripts to write our stop Netflix extension. Content scripts are files that run in the context of web pages. Basically, they have access to the DOM of the website you are visiting. If you go down in the documentation a bit, you will see a way to include or inject the scripts in the web page. You have to provide a content scripts key in the manifest, another configuration. And it takes multiple properties, one of them is matches which is used to specify which websites you want to uh, apply this script on or which websites do you want to inject the script in. You have CSS on JS uh, JS keys which is used to uh, specify the CSS files or JS files that you want to inject in the particular website. So let's go ahead and create a small extension that, it will will, that we will use to stop or block any website that you want. So I'll go ahead and create a folder stop Netflix. First thing I need is a manifest file. Manifest or JSON. Let's uh, declare the required one. Manifest version. That is two. Name. Stop Netflix. Version. Let's say 1.0.0. Now these are all the required properties. I'm not gonna bother with the description or icons. We have seen those earlier. Let's directly jump into the content script. It's an array. Okay, it's an array of an object. So first property will pass in the message key. Which websites do you want to match? So let's say Netflix, HTTPS, star, or we can directly go netflix.com, www.netflix.com. We can use a star instead of this to match at on all the subdomains. And this star means that it will match every path or every subpath when the name starts with this category, this character, these many characters are basically the netflix.com domain. Next, uh, we need to provide our JavaScript file. This is again an array. So let's provide a continuous file and I'll need to declare the file itself or create a file itself. Content on JS. Uh, for now, just let's write document dot write. We'll just remove everything from the DOM and write our message. Not allowed. Let's go ahead and uh, load this section and see if this works. Stop Netflix. Okay, open. Let's try and open Netflix. Okay, as you can see, it is displaying the message not allowed. It got rid of everything on the web page. So, this is how you can block a website or you can block multiple websites here. Let's go ahead and open Amazon. Amazon Prime Video. Okay, we want this, copy this, and we can add one more value here, prime video, and to match all the subparts. Let's go ahead, reload our script, and then reload this page. It should block this page also now. So you can block as many pages you want. Uh, so this is it for this one guys. In this one we learned how to use content scripts to interface with a DOM of a particular website. In the next video we will provide some more configuration like if the day is a weekday or weekend then we can optionally or conditionally uh, change the behavior of our content script. So stay tuned and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.